But ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, we got one of the hardest working YouTubers on the street. Let me break it down for you. When Courtney Michelle was sitting around on TSU and some foolish brothers had things to say, she called this man. And when all the men needed to understand how to be a man in today's times, they call this man. And when Uncle Stu needed someone to sit back, chill, smoke a cigar with, he called this man. So ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the one and only Angry Man. What's good, Uncle Stu? What's going on with you? Yo, what's going on? I got to say, you the hardest working brother. I'm sitting up there watching your live. He was like, "Yo, I, I just give me one extra hour. I just gotta, I just gotta finish cooking." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I, I figured I was gonna be finished way before seven, but we had a little issue with the stream. Um, you know, I'm I'm a little bit of a paranoid brother, so I be feeling like I'm being attacked. And my girl was like, "I think it might be time for you to just go ahead and get a new computer." Cause I had this one, I had this one since 2017. That's probably the issue. So I gotta, I gotta tighten up, you know. But yeah, you, you, gotta, you gotta upgrade. See, yeah. see, you brothers don't know when you got a good woman, they don't understand. A good one makes you a better man because you already the man. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and, and and that's what's missing, in my opinion, out here in these YouTube streets. These brothers be like, oh no, nah, I could do everything all on my own, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But that's not true. I no. think we get to a certain level, but then we need that that woman that really can really get in, talk to us, communicate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and like give us you, the energy. Well, yeah, that's that's the thing about being, you know, being a brother. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go out here and you gotta you gotta go out into the world with your sword, you know, and you gotta fight. And while you fighting, you don't have too many allies, you know. So it's always good that when you come home, you got you got at least one ally. You got at least one person in your corner. You know what I'm saying? And that's really what a lot of the guys are missing. That's part of the reason a lot of guys are so upset. They're never gonna admit it, but they want some. They want a ride or die chick. They want a chick that's gonna hold them down and you know make them feel better. You know, like Meth said. You right. know, uh, even when the skies was great, you rub right. me on my back and say, "Baby, it'll be okay." You know what I'm saying? How, how, how do we, how, you know, because one of the things that I've noticed now, I've only been on YouTube for six months and mm -hmm. I came in, you know, not really understanding the politics of the space because mm -hmm. I came in through TLA. So we came in, you know, as a group, you know, we came in with trying to have solutions and of course, trying to understand YouTube and understand the business. And, but lately we've been noticing, it's like, you know what? We can't blame women for everything. Yeah. And we yeah. notice all of this blame game going towards women. Now, I'm not going to sit up there and say there isn't some issues when it comes to women. There isn't some issues, you know, dealing with the family court system. There isn't some issues when, when it comes to that. But then there's a lot of areas where it's like, wait a minute, bro, how are you sleeping with a woman in her apartment and with her name on the lease? Yeah. But then you doing buffoonery, then when she kicked you out, now you mad. And it's like, well, wait a minute, bro. What what part did you play in that? Yeah. Well, the, the thing is, and this, this is where a lot of the misconception comes in. This is where a lot of the discrepancies come in. There's a really thin line between, what's the best way to put it? There's guys here that have an issue with a lot of the new age behavior of a lot of the women that doesn't really go along with the women they came up looking at, right? So okay. a lot of these guys, they want women that's going to be like Big Mama was with Papa, you know? And unfortunately, because of the way the culture has shifted and been misled, 
you got a lot of women that's doing things they shouldn't do so it's like yeah it's cool to call that out but the thin line is where you have guys calling it out but they ain't shit they damn self <laughs> <laughs> right but yeah you you calling it out but what what are you doing are you doing like you know if you now if you about your business if you about your business you do what you do you handle your business and you being a grown man about it and then you come in contact with a woman that proposes to be a good woman and she does something goofy you got every right to be upset about it right. you know but you have every right to be upset only for so long because you got to keep it moving you got to right. you, you got to go on to the next one you know what i'm right. saying and and you know i talk about these topics because really i like to raise awareness for the younger guys so that they can avoid dealing with i guess you would say toxic women or the wrong type of women but i'm mm -hmm. also these guys like bro you gotta be about your business yourself too and see so the problem with the politics that go on here in in these spaces you know and i'm pretty sure you know you've seen it a lot mm -hmm. of the new guys coming in have seen it um the problem is you have a lot of guys that are entrenched in certain rhetoric and they're going to die on that hill. They, they don't care what nobody says. And it comes from a lot of the stuff that happened back in 2016, 2017. See, mm -hmm. I've always been trying to be balanced, you know, like, yeah, these women are goofy, but a lot of y'all goofy too we got to tighten up we got to do what we need to do but my focus is more on the guys tightening up because i feel like if the guys are moving properly the women are gonna follow suit but okay. it's a lot of guys that think no they're thinking backwards they think the women have to act right first then we'll act right and it's like no you're the leader the women are the followers they're only gonna do what you lead them to do so right. that's where a lot of the arguments are coming up that's where a lot of the disagreements are coming up and at the end of the day i'm a i'm a i'm an ex street dude so a lot of dudes don't like me because i got that hood swag i got that slang i got that flavor that they, you know they don't really they don't really vibe with me. 